I'm Nikki Kruiser, and this is Offbeat LA. We're here today at the spectacular Bob Baker Marionette Theater located just outside of downtown LA. This is the oldest puppet theater in the whole United States, opened in 1961 by Bob Baker, who sadly passed away last year at age 90. A native Angelino, Bob Baker began studying the art of puppetry at age eight. He spent his life performing, building marionettes, and maintaining his theater. He had over 100 film and TV credits, including the movies Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and GI Blues with Elvis Presley. We're at a private rehearsal with Alex Evans, head puppeteer at Bob Baker. Hi, Alex. Hey, how you doing? So how many marionettes can be found here? Uh, so in this show is about 100 puppets, but the total collection is like 2,000. So oh, there's, wow. there's a lifetime's worth of work here, Bob's lifetime's worth of work. And it's anything from singing chickens, dancing cats, to you name it. Tell us a little bit about Bob and his philosophy and his legacy. Sure. Well, Bob Baker, he was the greatest, most creative guy I've ever met. And like, so this is his baby right here. He spent his whole life doing it, it kind of since 1961. He's been running this theater, kind of making this happen. He was an entertainer through and through. Uh, yeah, I mean, his le and his legacy here, which we fight hard every day to kind of keep going, is that um, is doing these shows is kind of every day we try and put on performance for kids and families of mm -hmm. Los Angeles, as well as kids of all ages, is what we say. It's, it's a hoot or something like it. So, Alex, what drew you to the magical world of puppetry? <laughs> uh, yes, I pretty randomly came down here through a long story. I ended up Googling Los Angeles puppets, not having any experience with puppets whatsoever. Came down, I saw a show, and it was like the most magical thing I've ever seen. I was like, ah, oh, I gotta be a part of this. I asked Bob if I could intern here or volunteer here mm -hmm. at the time, and I, I did, and I just fell more and more in love with it. And then that was 2007, so seven, eight years later, nice. I'm still here doing it. Yeah. You're carrying on the legacy. I'm trying to. <laughs> Every, everyone here is trying to. <laughs> this building was declared a historic cultural landmark in 2009. Is the theater in danger of disappearing? Uh, it's a complicated question. Uh, I would love to say no, uh, but every year there's kind of been like, ah, oh, is this the last year? Are we going to stay open? Are we going to do it? And like, even before I started working here, that was the case. And I've been here seven, eight years, and we're still going. And, and from what I hear back in the day, it was, you know, touch and go then, too. Oh, okay. And the theater's going 50 years strong. Nice. So it gives me a lot of hope and faith that we'll kind of keep going, and I, and I sincerely hope it will. The best way to kind of keep it going is to keep coming down here and bring your family, tell your yeah. friends and all that jazz. So come here. <laughs> <laughs>